so. See where the start of the trail is. Yeah. All right. Got a spot on the bear. There is. I'm gonna sneak up with the bow and try to put a stock on it. And see how it goes. I feel good about it. So wish me luck and stay tuned. The GoPro footage from the stock I put on this bear with my bow. Bear's right there. He's only 40 yards right here, but he wouldn't present a shot. Well, I got within 40 yards of the bear. Ah, can't believe that. I just can't believe how thick this stuff is either. I mean, it's not impossible, I've proved, to get close to a bear in this brush. So holy shit, is it hard. I mean, this ain't no tree stand hunting. It's spot and stock through shit like that. I mean, you're literally walking through shit like that. Sneaking in on a bear. Holy shit. 
Oh, I had a hell of a freaking hunt though. That was a hell of a stock, spotting stock. Spotting them wasn't hard, but. Killing's are <laughs> Oh shit. Well, stay tuned again. So, unfortunately I lost battery life in my phone and didn't get any film of the kill that ended up happening, but I'll tell you a little bit about it. So, the pilot was nice enough to take a picture for me, um, because his phone was obviously charged and mine wasn't, but, um... For one, all this footage you see is all done by iPhone, which is what I like about it. Um, another thing is on that bear, what ended up happening was there's a big bear that we spotted right out of camp. Last day, we're getting ready to get picked up, and uh, there's like four hours left in this hunt, and... This big bear, I mean, not a huge bear, but man, he's a nice bear. Ends up popping out like 500 yards from camp. We put a stock on him. The goal was to put a stock on him with a bow because I had two arrows left. And <coughs> another guy that ended up going with me was going to uh, <clears throat> back me up with the rifle just so we didn't have to track him because, fuck, it's a pain in the ass um, if you wound him. And we only had four hours, so... In case I wounded him and he went far, he'd just get backed up with the rifle. But <clears throat> we uh, went in to go put a stock on him. And another bear, which ended up being the bear I killed, popped out at like 100 yards. And we were like, ah, well, he's right there. We might as well, you know, put a stock on him with the bow. And he ended up going to the brush. <clears throat> well, what ended up happening was that bear went to the brush. And the big bear ended up moving without us seeing and he was right above that little bear, little air bear, and that that big bear moved, and that little bear moved right into the exact spot where we last looked at that big bear. And uh, the little bear got up, and we, after losing sight of him, we saw him up there where the big bear was, and we thought it was a big bear. So I was like, screw it, I'm just going to take the rifle, I shoot. We only have, keep in mind, we only have three shots because the guy that came didn't realize he only had three shots. But three shots, we put him down. <laughs> we go up there, and the uh, um, bear's still alive. And we only we were, we, it took us three shots to put him down. So I had two arrows left, so I put two arrows in him. That finished him off, but um, ended up having... Didn't get the big bear, got the smaller bear, still happy, killed my first bear, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first video um, on YouTube, my first YouTube blog, and um, I, hope, I hope you guys enjoy it, because I put a lot of effort into it, and I plan to do a lot more, and I've already done some, but this is my full effort, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and yeah, stay tuned for more fun adventures in Alaska, but um, yeah.